break through the hell box and hell shy. Never on some books of great millstone. She lost two books on the highway. The Bible is good to work sincerely and faithfully. Um, so I'm gonna quick precept. Precept I'm gonna get it to. First Peter 5 and 8. And it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walked the about, seeking whom he may devour. And that's exactly what that's exactly what the so-called white man is about to do. He's about to be a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour, especially of the children of Israel, especially of the elect. Lord will wear in that number. Because the scriptures say, be sober, be built, uh, vigilant. Now, if you look around all these people out here, they're not being sober, and they're not being vigilant as to what's about to happen in this place, right? The prophets have been on the highways and byways for years now, bringing this word out, trying to let people know, trying to wake these people up, that's, you know, basically of the nation of Israel, to come back into the fold. But we only, we know it's going to be a short, a short circle of brothers that are going to come out of this thing, right? And Lord will we're in that number, right? So, once again, you gotta be sober, you gotta be vigilant, because this damn devil is about to wreak havoc on all the whole world, man. And mainly on the 12 tribes of Israel. So with that, I want to tell you brothers to watch out, watch, as well as pray. Pray that Yahweh boss me out shy. Give the strength to keep pushing on this thing until he delivers us up out here, alright? Alright, this is uh, Psalms uh, 55 and 19. It says, uh, God shall hear and afflict him, even he that abide in the hole, so often. Because they have no changes, therefore they fear not the most high. He that put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him, he hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smooth and butter, the war was in his heart. His words were softened and oil, yet were they drawn sword. So throughout the time we had You're the enemy of the Most High. And the, and the scripture said, never trust thy enemy. If you go ahead and put your trust in the world, they're going to turn their back against you when that, when that day come. You know? And just like in the scripture and in, in Psalm, I don't remember what the scripture says. It said, do not, do not put no trust in princes, no princes. So if you go and put your trust in Obama, you go put your trust in the government, what's going to happen? When, when all hell breaks loose, they're not going to help you. You know? They're going to stab you in the back. You know? It's just like when you're watching um, the, the, the animation cartoon, The Bugs Bunny. And, 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 and the Edomite, what this little cousin does, put a knife down his back, and as soon as you turn your back, he stabs you. That's what the scripture said, who serve and be a friend of the world, the enemy of the most high God. There's a reason why the most high said that you cannot be a friend of the world, because the world is your enemy. You know, you cannot trust the world, but the world is not going to save you. The world is not going to take a bullet for you. You know, the world is not going to save your family, and the world is not going to bring you out of destruction. Only the most high can do that. That's why he said, do not be a friend of the world. You know, don't put your trust in the world on him only. You know, but you put your trust in the world, you're the enemy of the most high. Not only you're an enemy of the most high, but the way you put your trust on, they're also your enemy. You know? So that's what I gotta say about that. So, you know, just wake up, be strong, and study hard. You know, put your trust in the most high. Not not your enemy. That's about it. Ah uh, yeah. It's just like when you're in the truth, you know. Once you hear this word, it's like music to your ears. And once your spirit ignites with the word, it's it's it's, it's a severing. It becomes a part of your DNA that can't be separated. And you know that. Constantly thinking about your how about shit now. It's what's going to get us out of here at the end of the day. This is uh, Psalms 82 and uh, 8. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee. O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. 
Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would not with none of me. So this is this is the most high right into right into or telling his people, you know, if they if they humbly follow his word and his laws, that he would be with them. But they would would not want anything to do with the most high at all. So in Psalms 83, it continues on and says, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee lift it up thy head. And that goes along with the whole um, concept of this uh, series I am putting together, never trusting thy enemy. Because if we had to follow what the Lord has said, he would have been with us. He would have been a shield and buckler to, to take down our enemies. And since, you know, we didn't follow the, what the Lord had commanded, this is what had happened. Below thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee lifted up thy head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They had said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no, long, may no more be in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederates, confederate against thee, the tabernacle of Edom, and the Ishmaelites, of Moab, and the Hagreens, Gabel, Ammon, and Amalek the Philistines and the inhabitants of Tyre. Asher also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Salah. You know, and that's the predicament we are now. None of our, I mean, you can pan around, you see uh, uh, Israelites walking around amongst the midst of the other nations, not knowing who they are. Because the enemies have, you know, taken us down and now we are no longer in remembrance of who we are as a nation, as a people. So, you know, and that's why we come out, we got the week to proclaim who the children of Israelites are the children of Israel is and who the enemies that took us down as a, as a, as a nation. You know, we're going to keep, there's another one real quick. Um, because uh, in Matthew 20, uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all the nations, and then shall the end come. And you know, that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're bringing out the word and for the, the nations just, just to consider, you know, that the, 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 the people are spoken about in the, in the, in the Bible are who, who we say from Judah on down to Ishakar, you know, and who, what our uh, biblical nationality is, you know. In the mouth shall be brought to and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the edge of the sword. Their children also shall be that peace before their eyes. And their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives be wrapped. So the most high saying, if you be bound with these other nations, join up with them, gonna be a time coming. You're gonna be put to death. Okay. And their wives are wrapped. If you will be if you will be even the children also shall be got the people before their eyes. That's what's coming to America. You join up with these join up with these people in this country, British Gun. When that, that sword coming up on you and they and, and nothing gonna drive it away. They're gonna you 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 your children also shall be dying to peace before they eyes. That's what they did to our people. We are gonna do the same thing to them. And that's right around the corner. So you know, it's right around the corner. But the most high gonna put these spoil their wives, the wives their wives shall be rabbit, and the children shall be dying to peace before their eyes. And that that's gonna be a good thing for the most high to do that. And I'm waiting on that day to come. Our people are joining, they join up with these people, they think that uh, they going to make it. You ain't going to make it here. You're going to die joining up with these people. They're coming to America. That is from. That is 2 Ezra 16. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Now, the reason that that was written was because, uh, you know, that's telling and foretelling the future of all of these kingdoms that's down with America was the oncoming destruction. You know what I'm saying? We know that war means death or destruction or war, you know? So with the quick precept of uh, 2 Ezra 15, verse 46, and it says, And thou, Asia, thou art partakers of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her persons. Meaning they mimic what she does, you know what I'm saying? They drink on the same wine and fortification of her. Woe be unto thee, thou wretched, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked their daughters and whoredoms, that they might plead and glory in thy lovers. 
which I've all, always desired to commit whoredoms with. So yeah, they, 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 they wish to be rich like America, and they wish to do all the things that make them Americans, so to speak. When they come over here, i never seen an Asian person drink coffee until they got to America. You know what I'm saying? They was tea drinkers. That's what's in their heritage. But going on, thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore, saith the Lord, power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, that's what's going to be their destruction. Since they treated the children of Israel like so, since they follow her wine of fornication, they're going to get destroyed by the nuclear missiles. You know? And with that, Shalom. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like iron, for, for, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So, man, you ain't supposed to trust your enemy, man, which is a so called white man, man, who is the Bible, Esau. Like iron rusted, man, so is his wickedness, man. talking about right there is a so-called white man which by the way the word devil in the latin is diabolus which actually means deceiver now when it says the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea that's talking about the white man coming down with this upcoming martial law this of